Right then guys, today I'm um, just having a little experiment really. Um, now you've all seen these um, glass laser tubes I've got. And I was a bit worried about blowing them up so I didn't really want to play with them. But I'm actually in the process of getting some more sent to me. Um, and this is the board they used to run on. Basically you put 1200 volts into here and you get 5000 from there and there, AC, uh, DC, sorry, that's plus, that's minus, and minus and plus. So quite randomly they run from each side. Um, so I want to know basically what happens if you run it AC instead of DC, and instead of 5 kV, which is what half of this board, or which is what one laser would have run on, um, what happens if you run it at 8 kV? Maybe with some extra ampage. Don't know, who knows? We'll find out. Now, there's something that I don't know that you're going to be able to see this, but Seb, if you're watching, you might be able to tell me what that means. I presume it's like a GFI or a CGFI, ground fault interpreter, whatever you want to call it, depending on where you live. Um, but this seems to run fine. I've drawn arcs off of it and it seems to run fine without him. Um, so anyway, we'll let me experiment and commence. Um, there is one thing that you guys might want to see before I carry on. I've got my projects there. That's what I'm doing next, the capacitive bank. And I've had a bit of a um, bit of a hair cut and restyle. I thought you might want to might want to check that out. <laughs> It's UV pink if you're wondering. Um, yeah, I had to bleach my hair four times because obviously I have dark hair. Um, so I had to bleach it four times. Right now I haven't actually tried this. I've just set it up. Um, so I don't even know where it's going to run. But one thing I do know is before it was about 4kV that the tube started at. Um, and I've made the mistake of goggles, need goggles whenever you're working with lasers right, so I haven't made the mistake I have got them um, now I'm guessing it could be a bit dangerous so don't try this at home people um, truthful, I haven't really got much um, PPE but I'm hoping my goggles will uh, protect me I don't think we're going to get any poppage I can't see why we would but who knows so uh, yeah basically can't see what the hell I'm doing now let's get these goggles out let's google plus let's see who it is shall we it's a bit rude isn't it ah uh, Chris Wright he says don't get fizzy cool there you go well I don't know quite what that means but we might get fizzy, so let's give it a try. Right, so I'm running it off of uh, that Variac and that Neon Sign Transformer 8kV um, and that. So I don't quite know where to aim this. I'm gonna pull it out maybe. That sounds a bit bad, doesn't it? I'm gonna pull out. And hopefully you'll be able to see a dot. I'm hoping the dot is going to be over here somewhere. Again, I've got safety goggles, so we're all good. I'm going to turn that light off and see what happens. All right. I'm going to turn this up quite slowly. I should really have a meter on there, so I know if it's going to do anything or if it starts. Oh, right, so we've got some power. I don't know how bright that is on the tube. I can't see a dot because I've got my glasses on. Right, so we do actually have a dot on the wood there. You can see the dot. If I show you what it looks like with the goggles on, no dot. That's why it's so important to have goggles. Okay, now I know that it's on that piece of wood, it's not reflecting off anything. Um, well, that is only a a very few, it's only a very small way around, and I'll notice it's flickering. 
and making some quite random noises so I'm just going to go ahead and crank it I don't really like the sound of that too much I can now just see the dot through my glasses so that is getting quite bright and it is now running at 8 kV and I can smell something getting rather hot so I'm going to turn it off turn the plug off and see what it is probably shouldn't do this okay so it's not that getting hot it's not my wires getting hot okay so it's the normally what would be the anode connection here I don't know if you can see that there's an arrow on there and on that arrow I'm never going to get to focus in now am I on the arrow there's a plus so it would normally be the anode um, so yeah it doesn't really tell us too much but that anode connection is hot and the cathode connection is cold but obviously running this AC and DC are two completely different things now this top of the tube is getting a bit warm so I shall basically give it another quick run I'm going to crank up the uh, I'm going to de-shunt it a bit so it gets a bit more current in there um, obviously this one hasn't been de-shunted completely I will de-shunt the I will de-shunt all of them I've got four of these one of them is going to my bra which you should all know by now and if you don't well you obviously don't watch enough of my videos so right that is now open all the way that I've moved Goggles on. There we go. Let's crank up. One thing I want to know is whether it's hot, whether it's actually made it any more powerful. So, yeah, I probably shouldn't do this. No. If anything, it's not doing anything. It's not made it any more powerful or any less powerful. The dot disappears though. So I don't know if it's changing its wavelength. But there we get a dot. Crank it up, dot, lose the dot. So I don't know whether, I don't know what it's doing. Maybe someone will be able to tell me. But there we go. I will give it a very quick run with some goggles so you guys can see it. Goggles, it's quite difficult because two sets of goggles make things quite hard. See, the more voltage you put in, the more it deteriorates the dot. So, anyway, had a bit of fun trying it out and uh, didn't blow anything up. So, what I'm going to do first is take off my goggles and I'm going to turn off the variac, make safe. Mm, the tube's a bit warm, the tube did actually get warmish. But yeah, anyway guys, I hope that was sort of interesting for you. Um, nothing too amazing, but you can overvolt these tubes and it would seem it doesn't do much uh, good. Maybe the next thing to do would be to make this DC, rectify this and try it on a rectified higher voltage. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and all the other stuff that you can do. And uh, we shall speak again soon. And you don't have to leave all comments about my hair, by the way, but feel free, I don't mind. Thanks.